It's Friday, March 2nd, and your stories today are Marshall Islands to issue its own cryptocurrency, an attorney general fires staff for allegedly mining Bitcoin, and Bill Gates speaks his mind on cryptocurrency. Hello world, welcome back to The Comet. For your first story today, earlier this week, the Marshall Islands, a country of 53,000 people in the Central Pacific Ocean, has taken steps to prepare for the issuance of its cryptocurrency, the Sovereign. The primary distinguishing feature of this cryptocurrency is its adoption of the framework, Yoway Framework, an identification protocol that aims to avoid the, relatively, the relative anonymity of more popular cryptocurrencies. Users would be required to identify themselves on a blockchain network, a step that governments think would make a cryptocurrency suitable for a regulated banking structure. Yoway framework doesn't seem to be linked to any other cryptocurrencies that are already in existence. According to David Paul, Minister in Assistance to the President, the Marshallese legislator has given its approval for the SOV to be treated as legal tender. In a statement released late on Tuesday evening, the Marshallese government claimed, quote, this creates legal certainty for its use because all jurisdictions have laws in place for dealing with legal tender, whereas private cryptocurrencies are dealt with differently in different jurisdictions." End quote. To date, no countries have recognized stateless cryptocurrencies as legal tender, though in April 2017, Japan's financial service agency recognized them as legal forms of payment. <laughs> In other news, remember those Russian nuclear scientists that were arrested for mining Bitcoin on the job? We thought they were a fluke. Apparently, they're trendsetters. Louisiana's attorney general is reportedly conducting a criminal investigation against his own office's former IT personnel over allegations they use state resources to mine cryptocurrency. The AG office's Louisiana Bureau of Investigation reportedly questioned the suspects after authorities discovered hardware that they believed could have been used for mining cryptocurrency. It has not been revealed what equipment was found, so it's not possible to determine what cryptocurrency allegedly was being mined. The fired employees included a systems administrator, a help desk manager, a litigation support coordinator, and a human resource personnel affiliated with the IT division. Three of the former staffers denied the accusations, saying they were fired due to a misunderstanding by the AG office. It's a heck of a misunderstanding. Could you imagine? Oh no, sir, I wasn't using the free electricity at the taxpayer's expense to mine cryptocurrency with my coworkers. I was just checking Facebook. And finally, on February 27th, Bill Gates hosted his sixth Ask Me Anything on Reddit. And surprise, surprise, someone asked Gates to share his thoughts on cryptocurrencies. He said, quote, the main features of cryptocurrencies is their anonymity. I don't think this is a good thing. The government's ability to find money laundering and tax evasion and terrorist funding is a good thing." End quote. He went on to say that crypto is a rare technology that has caused death in a fairly direct way, linking it to the purchase of drugs. I'm sorry, Bill, but I'm pretty sure drugs were a problem long before cryptocurrency came around. Who do you think you are, some sort of billionaire technology titan? But in all seriousness, distributed ledger technology does protect people's anonymity, but it also leaves a hard trail. The US government has effectively prepared for the challenges of cryptocurrency-based money laundering and tax evasion. Come on, Bill. Regulation is all I ever talk about. It's like you don't even watch the show. That's our comment for the day, but what do you think? Will Marshall Island's new cryptocurrency be successful? Who's next to get busted for mining crypto on the job? And why does Bill Gates think we're all drug dealers? Let me know, tweet at me, and don't forget to leave a comment. Join me back here on the comment as I catch you up on the latest in Ethereum and blockchain. If you like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If you didn't like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you get all the newest episodes of the comment as they air by clicking that alert button. That's that bell looking thing next to the word subscribe. If you miss our latest episodes, you can catch up on ethnews.com or on YouTube or just subscribe so you don't miss them anymore, silly. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ethnewsy. That's at ethnewsci. And we'll see you next time.